Oh, hello. Wait a second. I think I'm having deja vu. Have we been here before? I think we have. Weird. What up, everybody? This is tour number two from Voltage Studio. We moved here in August, did a tour, and it's been a minute. We've updated some tech, but I've never wanted to overdo it with tours, so I put it out on the channel with a poll. Would you like to see another smart home tour? And 97% of you said you would. So here we are. And actually I did some analytics and 66% of the people watching this video will be watching one of our tours for the first time. So that's exciting. So anyway, this is still about 95% Apple home. We do have a couple random items in here, but yeah, you know, I'm a home kit guy. So we're going to go room by room and let's get started. Hello again, George Langevier here. You saw in that video montage, this place is pretty cool. This building is called the Breakers. It's called that because it was an abandoned power plant for years and years and years until a company called New Style Development took it over, revitalized it, and turned it into apartments. New Style does that with a lot of cool old buildings in downtown Omaha, and we love that, so much so that we've lived in several of their properties, and you've seen our tours in several of those properties. Everything in this building is electricity theme because of the power plant thing, including the floor plans, hence the fact that we call this Voltage Studio. So we're going to go through this place room by room and show you everything that makes it smart. And again, this is about 95% Apple home. So let's get started right here in the entryway. All right, starting at the front door, when I walked in, you saw that I'm using the Google Nest video doorbell. I've got that in Apple home using the Starling Home Hub. I've done several videos on Starling, check those out, but it's a great way to get Google Nest cameras into Apple Home and also use HomeKit Secure Video. Now me personally, you saw in a few videos ago, I'm done with Apple's HomeKit Secure Video. I listed my reasons, check out that video. But I still generally wanted my cameras in Apple Home for the Apple TV notifications and the HomePod notifications. So that's why I'm still using the Starlight. Moving on to the Smart Lock, I've got the Schlage Encode Plus. I love this lock. I think a lot of YouTubers would agree that it's the best lock. I love the functionality. I love that it's flawless. It doesn't fail me. And I love Apple home key using my watch and my phone to get in is great. Now we just went to CES 2024. My last video was on our experiences there and there were a ton of different home key locks that are coming out and that's very exciting. So I'm sorry, Schlage, you lasted longer than most, but you're probably going to get replaced soon for some testing. Moving on to my door contacts. I've got Acara and I've got Ecobee. Now Acara ties to my Acara alarm system and Ecobee I like because I've got the motion sensor. Now keep in mind, I'm a YouTuber, so I'm always testing different things. That's why I've got multiple sensors. But yeah, this trips the automation with our lights. So as soon as we walk in this door, our lights come on. Speaking of those lights, we're using Lutron. I got Lutron switches everywhere. These just replaced Brilliant. When I moved in here, I had thousands and thousands of dollars worth of Brilliant, but they failed me too many times. I did a video on that. Check it out. But uh, Lutron's just flawless, and they're my go-to, and they're my fallback, and they're everywhere in this place. Now, as far as lighting goes, I do have Lutron, but it's a mixed bag. I've got Philips Hue. I've got some Nanoleaf. We're going to talk about all of it. 
but here we've got some Philips Hue lights. I'm an OG when it comes to Philips Hue. It was actually the first smart device I ever purchased. So I go way back with Philips, but I love their stuff. And so these lamps are Philips Hue bulbs, just old school lamps made smart. We've got some more Lutron switches. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. We've got the Nest camera there. Again, using the Starling Ohm Hub to get that in Apple Home. Now we can't get too crazy with smart appliances here because we rent, I've said this before, but we're doing what we can. And we've tricked this one out a little bit more than most. Starting with our toaster, the Revolution Smart Toaster. We've talked about this in other tours, but we freaking love this thing. You got your touch screen. You can select your different types of bread, whether it's toast, English muffins, or bagels. You got fresh, frozen, reheat. You got your toast level and you got a gluten-free option, but it makes making toast fun. It makes making toast tech. It does. It's awesome. All right, we got our LG Smart TV here. Now this is Apple Home compatible, so I can control the power, the volume, and the inputs with Siri. We've got our HomePod, which controls our entire smart home. Now I'm somewhat known as the HomePod guy. I'm also somewhat known as the Sonos guy, and that's because I switch back and forth, an internal battle for the test of time. But now I'm just embracing both. Cancer has made me embrace both, and it's lasted that way a few months. So maybe I'm good to go. What do you think, Teresa? It's a whole new you. It's a whole new me. Apple TV 4K behind the LG TV. We've got our Eden Smart Garden. Now I've done a video on this, but it's, it's in Apple Home. You can control the light that actually makes this stuff grow, that acts as the sun with HomeKit. So it's a really cool device, and it's a nice little way to turn our apartment green. We got a Pico remote here. This is a Lutron product, but I'm using it to control my Sonos. Moving on, we've got our Black & Decker Smart Fridge. Now this came from a smart home tour I did in one of the comments on YouTube, gave me crap about the way we were storing our wine. So I decided to shut that person up with this Black & Decker Smart Fridge. We got our Keurig here. Now this is the smart version where you can actually control different parts of your coffee with the app. Then we got our Ecobee Smart Thermostat. I've talked about this thing till I'm blue in the face. You know, I really like something when it's lasted this long. I've had this for a while now, but I love the Ecobee thermostat. So then we got our water drop water purifier. I'm all about my health right now. It's very important that I'm drinking a lot of water, but I'm also a big germaphobe. And also you just want healthy water in general. And this gets that done. I use this several times a day. I love this thing. Got the Sonos Era 300. George, Sonos versus HomePods, Sonos versus HomePods. As I said, I'm embracing both. This fills this room with Dolby Atmos and it sounds killer. Then we've got our Ecovax, DBot, X2, Omni. I did a video on this and then I also did a video comparing this and the Omni T20 and also the Yeedy Cube. Check out all the above. I love this freaking vacuum. Then we've got Yellow Pop. My neon sign. I wanted to customize this place somehow, and this is exactly how I did it. It does all sorts of things with color. You can customize it. You can choose your own font on the Yellow Pop app. They're a great company to work with. Then I've got my wall-mounted iPad here. I am using the Home Dashboard app. I love this app. You know, unlike the Apple Home app, you can customize it. You've got your battery levels. You've got weather, which has always been a big thing that I wanted in Apple Home. You've got your cameras. I love this app, but I use this for Sonos and Apple Music and just love having a well-mounted iPad. We've got more Lutron here. Let's move on into the living room. Okay, we're gonna start with the wall here. We've got the Nano Leaf lines. Um, check out my other tours. You know, I've always loved the lines, done all sorts of cool designs in my other places, but this is just basically my Nano Leaf wall. We got another Nest camera there. And then this is my Silver Hammer slash YouTube Battle Station. I've got the studio displays here. I've got the latest Mac Studio. I've got the 12.9 iPad Pro. This is the latest version. I've got the latest version of the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And what else on here? I think that's, a, oh, I've got Secret Lab, Secret Lab everywhere. We've got the chair, we've got the desk. I've got these cool little arms for my iPad and my laptop, but I love Secret Lab. We've got another wall-mounted iPad, and I know it might be overkill to have them right around the corner from each other, but I'm all about overkill. Then I did a video on these. These are the Flora Smart Plants. So a cool way to do lights and just make, you know, home decor smart. You got another one over there, you'll see. Then I've got the Hue Signy Lamps. So these do all sorts of cool things. I'll show you this at night. 
but yeah I love these things I got the Hue Signy light bar we've got the Sonos Arc sound bar again all about Sonos right now and I've got my 86 inch LG OLED I've got an Apple TV 4k behind there and then it's not on right now again I'll show you this at night but this is a little smart fireplace and it keeps us warm my other flora now to go along with my Ecobee smart thermostat we've got these sensors and I've got one in every room and it takes the average of the temperature in here and it really helps you on your energy costs so you'll see those everywhere now as far as the Sonos Arc goes I got a Sonos sub down there and then I'm using era 300s as my surrounds and man this is where Sonos just blows away just having a stereo pair of home pods because you just fill this whole room and that that sub makes this room thump and luckily we're in a spot in this apartment where I don't bother my neighbors too bad now I've talked about this in a lot of videos this is special to me in many ways I'm not going to get into the story right now but just a lot of love in this stoplight and I'm making it smart with some Philips Hue bulbs in there got a home pod right there we've got a hotel collection smart diffuser back there it's the tower version it's about this tall making this room smell pretty uh, Teresa just got me the vehicle version I love hotel collection diffusers and again it goes along with being a neat freak and a germaphobe I just like things to smell good there's my other Sonos era 300 oh and I forgot to mention in my little battle station there I also have the AirPods Max that's the living room let's move on to Teresa's office all right so that's the first room in here now you're gonna have to excuse me the lights in here are so high that it's gonna be really dark in here but I'm just gonna mention a few things anyway now we got a home pod over there she's got her AirPods Max we've got a little 24 inch uh, LG smart TV also Apple home compatible we got an Apple TV 4k behind there we've got an HP smart printer which is compatible with AirPrint and let's see we've got some uh, Ecobee sensor here and then I've got an Acara sensor that we're using so anytime we walk in the closet the light comes on so we've got the motion sensor in there and then we've got a Dyson air purifier and fan and other than the living room now the living room I had the Dyson big and quiet and it is actually it failed me so they're actually sending me a new one otherwise we'd have a Dyson in there as well but we've got these uh Dyson air purifier fans in every room and I use Siri shortcuts to make those smart moving on to the master bedroom all right so in the hallway here we've got Lutron 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 and I've also got my Acara hub there that's controlling my security system and different sensors in here I've got the door sensors we talked about I've also got water leak sensors in every sink in the bathrooms and the kitchen but that's my Acara hub moving into the master bedroom first thing you'll see is Lutron now you're gonna have to forgive us it's getting a little dark here being winter so it's gonna be a little dark in these rooms but anyway all right and then over there I've got my Orbi 970 mesh router now there was another one of those behind the entertainment center in my living room and I know that's a little bit overkill but I'm all about overkill like I said now those are $2,300 they're Wi-Fi 7 but I'm finding that they're being absolutely worth it because I've had flawless connectivity all my devices have worked much better since I bought those so so far so good we got more Hue Signy lamps I got a hotel collection air diffuser again I want to make the bedroom smell good and then this is my Schwinn IC4 bike now I've talked about this before this is the same bike they use in the Apple Fitness Studios I believe that one of the reasons I'm kicking cancer's ass is me and the bikes both my outdoor bike and my indoor bike this is very important to me ride it every day Sharika Holman with Apple Fitness man in the winter you can see this crap outside yeah I'm not riding my bike outside so every winter she's like the one shining light that uh keeps me company in the winter but yeah so this bike very well may have saved my life got an LG OLED this is a 65 inch gallery edition gallery edition is just very low profile to the wall it also can display art when you're not using it I personally like having the clock and the weather but whatever you can have art too we got another home pod another Apple TV 4k another Ecobee sensor for the presence of this room and then I've got one in that closet as well for the closet and then we've got a Dyson air purifier fan like I said they're in every room 
And then I've also got an Acara motion sensor in there just because I really want it to work as far as my automation, having that light go on and off automatically when I walk in. Now, it wouldn't be a George video without talking about my closet. If you watch the channel, you know the evolution of me and Adidas and Nike. I was Adidas for years, their biggest supporter. Sold $35,000 worth of Adidas. It was crazy. In fact, in one of my tours, you can see it all in one of my offices. And it was crazy. But I watched the Nike Air movie and it changed my life. And I switched to Nike. So a lot of people ask me, how's my Nike collection coming along? Well, I'll let it speak for itself. So there's some Jordans. There's my Air Force Ones. I got shoes here. I got shoes there. I got shoes around the corner. I've got shoes down there. So it's coming along nicely. Every piece of clothing you see in there is Nike. Now also, in addition to that, 12 South. This changed my life as far as my Apple Watch bands. You know, I didn't even realize how many Apple Watch bands I had until I put them all on this cool display. But now I can go in and I actually use these a lot more now. But I love that from 12 South. So George, I'm curious. Is there a security sensor that could be put up that would alarm me before any more Nike goes into that closet. Come on, Teresa. How are you going to stop me from buying Nike? It wouldn't matter how loud that alarm is. I'm still going to be buying me some Nike. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm screwed. It's worth a shot. <laughs> All right, in Teresa's bathroom. Now, I've talked about this before. I can't wrap my brain around people that share bathrooms, and we never have. So this is Teresa's bathroom. There's a few smart devices in here. We got an Acara motion sensor for the automation to turn this light on and off automatically. We got our Lutron switches if we want to do it manually. We got an Ecobee sensor. She's got a HomePod in here and then some simple human stuff. And that's about it for Teresa's bathroom. Let's move over to George's bathroom. All right, here we are on the other side of the apartment in George's bathroom. Same basic setup. I've got a few extras in mind. I got the Lutron switches. I've got an Ecobee sensor. I've got another Pico remote. I've got a hotel collection diffuser and I've got a home pod. And then here I've got both. I got Sonos and home pods. I got the Sonos move second generation. I've got an Acara motion sensor for my automation to have this light come on and off. And then I've got a wall mounted iPad in here. I watch TV while I'm getting ready or whatever it may be, but I love having that in here. And that is George's bathroom. I don't know if there's a more decked out bathroom out there, George. Yeah, a lot of people don't put a lot of smart devices in their bathroom. I, I don't know. I do. You're you. I'm me. Moving on to the studio. Okay, so this is the YouTube studio. And let's just get right into it. So I got a wall-mounted iPad in here. I got Lutron switches. This is my unboxing table. Now my unboxing table just happens to be full right now of some products that I've got to test. I got a Tapo doorbell here that I'm going to do. I've got an XM smart smoke detector. And we've got a real link system here. Excited to work with real link again. I've got a Google max display there, and I've also got the echo show eight, and that's basically for matter testing. That's why I've got those devices in here. And then over there, I've got a home pod you got to excuse me for it being dark in here, but even if I turn this light on, it's be worthless. But one thing that I'm going to do a video on soon, and I love this thing, and this is really cool for our apartment and I'm going to use it for both silver hammer and for our personal lives. This is the LG Stand By Me Go. And this is a portable TV with this very cool briefcase. And it comes out of the case. You got a remote. You got HDMI inputs. This says Dolby Atmos. This says Dolby Vision. But this thing unplugs and then I can carry that briefcase wherever I want. So I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to get an Apple TV for it just because I need an Apple TV for every TV. But this does have every smart feature you want. So I wouldn't need that technically. But I'm going to do it anyway, because again, I love overkill. But yeah, so you can adjust this. You can leave it down here and it'll still work. Now it's a little heavy, but other than that, it's fantastic. So we're going to use it up on our rooftop deck when, uh, when the weather gets nicer. And I can't wait for that. I don't think Teresa can either. <laughs> You're darn right. All right, that's my Beatles. So uh, forgive me for the reflection, but you know, Silver Hammer Surveillance. Silver Hammer came from Maxwell Silverhammer, which is a Beatles song. My dad was a huge Beatles fan. I just love the outlaw nature of this picture because I'm a little bit of a rebel outlaw, if you will. Um, but yeah, so this is an awesome addition. And as I'm filming my videos, you don't see that, but uh, it's there. 
All right, then we got another LG. Uh, this is the 55 inch version of the gallery edition and we've got an Apple TV 4K. And then this is the wall you see behind my videos. So we've got this cool little recording light and uh, we've got another Ecobee sensor. We've got the Yee Light cubes. All four of these lamps in here have Philips Hue bulbs. And then we've got this special little addition. Now this is sticks fooling yourself in my cancer battle. You know, I was down and out and had this surgery. I was out for six weeks, surgery uh, from a bowel perforation that almost killed me. I wasn't a huge sticks fan, but for some reason I found this song on YouTube and there was a performance of theirs in Chicago. And I swear after hearing that song, I could lift the world on my shoulders. I don't know. It really just uplifted me to the point where I got through that recovery and here I stand all healthy. So Delaney got this for me and it's really cool. It changes colors and you can scan that. It'll take you right to the song on Spotify, but very special to me for, for many different reasons. We've got another uh, yellow pop neon sign. And then underneath here, I've got some smart plugs from Ross and everything in here that wasn't smart. I make it smart that way, like the recording sign and the yellow pop sign. And then also I have these Philips Hue play bars. So Philips Hue all over the place. And another Dyson fan. Moving on to the closet. All right, any Friends fans out there? Do you remember Monica's closet? There was this a closet in the apartment. You know, Monica was this huge neat freak, but Chandler found this door and he was wondering what was behind it. He finally got in and he realized that she was a hoarder and had all this junk in there. Well, this is my Monica closet. I don't think it's quite as bad as hers, but still as a neat freak, I'm not proud of it. But in an apartment this size, I got to put my stuff somewhere. There's a few smart devices in here. That's why I'm even talking about it. So number one, I got a Lutron switch in here. I got this Dyson stick back. That's their submarine version. This is brand new for 2000, late 2023. It's got a mop attachment and this thing is freaking awesome. Love me some Dyson vacuums. This is my main Orbi 970 router. It controls the rest of the place and my satellites out there. I got my Lutron hub here. I got another Ecobee sensor and this is where my Starling home hub lives. I got my Yale smart safe. This is Apple home compatible. I can control this with Siri, open and close it and lock it and unlock it. Then I've got several different things that I'm testing in here that I'm kind of excited about. This is a solar driveway alarm. So anytime somebody passes through your driveway, you can get alarmed. I get a lot of requests over this with silver hammer for years and years and years. People have been asking me for stuff like this. So I really hope it's cool. I got some basis products in here. I love their brand. I got some headphones to test some of their little hubs that I'm testing and then other things I'm testing or talking about. I talked about the announcement for Philips Hue um, secure. This is their camera and their door contacts. I'm sorry. I can't even do it. 1080p in late 2023 Philips Hue. What were you thinking? We need 2k. We need 4k. So I was going to do a review on this, but in good conscience as a security guy, I can't do it. Then I got the sofa baton remote that I'm, I've been working on. I did one of their a video on one of their other remotes that I really love, but this one, they're lucky it's not in the trash. I hate it just to be frank. Then I got a Synology camera system down there. That's a POE uh, IP system, which I'm looking forward to testing and I'll do a review on. We've got Ridge. Now I know this technically isn't tech, but Ridge has got a lot of cool devices and they're just a very cool brand. All their luggage, we've got the entire collection. Teresa's actually got two more suitcases. She's about to go on a trip, so they're in her office. All their backpacks. And then we've got an Akara motion sensor that I use for an automation to turn this light on automatically. But that's it. There was so, one more thing, George. What's that? The flares. Oh, yeah. E-flares. How could I forget that? Now, they're in my closet. And they're a cool device, and they shouldn't be hidden in my closet. But I actually use this just to have natural light in here when if the automation doesn't work. But then we take those because they're very portable and we take them out to our two balconies. So they're not being used right now because it's winter. But when it's nice out, they'll be out on our balconies. But that's my YouTube Silver Hammer Monica's Closet. All right, that's it. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for the people that were asking for this. I appreciate the people answering that poll. But you were always evolving. 
If you've watched the channel, you know we've lived in five or six places since I started YouTube in January 2021. So we've been here six months. This is almost a record, Teresa. Yeah, for sure. But after coming back from CES and I'm seeing all these devices that I can't use because we're in an apartment and we're telling each other right now that we need a house so I can test everything. Lawn bots, snowblower bots, things like that. So don't be surprised that the next tour you see is in a house. So who knows? But smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We very much appreciate having you here. As I say, past, present, future subscribers, whoever you are, you're awesome. And I really appreciate your support. So until the next video, peace and love.